And you are sure we will have those defense batteries up and running? No, 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 no. I'm not sure. They're in bad shape, Del. Really bad shape. I I'm already using duct tape and spit to keep the station from falling apart. You want me to pull a rabbit out of my hat? I don't want to hear excuses. I want to hear that it's going to be fixed. Period. Get it done. All right, all right. I'm on it. You want to quit standing there and hand over the conduction grid data? If you're making it play for more credits, it's not going to work. Cut the crap and give the conduction grid deck to Jazz. Perfect. I'll get to work on this as soon as we're done here. All right. Listen up, because I don't want to repeat this twice. We've gotten word that UC Sysdef is massing somewhere nearby for an attack on the key. While we prepare for their arrival, I want you to head straight for Bannock 4 and bring Crix's legacy home. I have a very reliable source at Mast. They were so concerned that the threat was real, they actually jumped the information out to us right away. Lay it out, Jess. All right, first things first. I'm gonna upload this data you snagged from Jennerdyne into the Keys databanks. All you need to do is build and then install a conduction grid module onto your ship. Oh, and if you haven't already, you'll need the comp spike module installed as well. Once your ship is ready, jump out to Bannock 4, board the Legacy, and bring us the cash. Of course there's a catch. What, you thought this would be easy? After you board the Legacy, be on the lookout for two transfer modules. They're special keys that allow access to the ship's vault. Once you locate the vault's control center, hook up the data core I'm gonna give you, and download everything they've got. And before you get any bright ideas, like running off with the money, that currency is going to be heavily encrypted. Only a genius like Shinya will be able to crack that encryption. So bring it back here right away. That would be a first. I have yet to see encrypted currency that Shinya could not manipulate within hours. I mean, the guy plugs his body directly into his mainframe. He eats, breathes, and shits numbers all day. No, I'm not worried about him. Are you kidding? Everyone around here is a traitor. Look, I'm gonna make this real simple for you. If that money ends up anywhere but the key, I will hunt you down and pry it out of your dead hands myself. Now get moving. You've met some of them already. Matis Castillo, Yevgeny Rokov, Juan Dayu, Estelle Vincent, and Adler Kemp. They might feel like independence to you, but each one of them has a stake in the Crimson Fleet, and each one of them wants a cut of the wealth. I am sending word out to every able-bodied captain that they are needed. We'll see how many answer the call. The toughest nut to crack is if you see Sysdef brings in the vigilance. That Commander Ikande has himself a hell of a ship there. Advanced shield deck, bristling with weapons. I would love to see that thing burn. If we hope to stand a chance against it, we need those defensive batteries and Crix's legacy. The Crimson Fleet isn't really a fleet. It's an ideal, a principle that Crix sought to set up so that pirates didn't infight over scraps. Over time, that notion has been lost. Captains have been turning their backs on the fleet, doing jobs on the side, killing each other. Bringing Crix's legacy back to the fleet would be like validating everything Jasper Crix believed in. And I'm certain it would unify us once again. Of course, it wouldn't exactly hurt to have all that extra money at our disposal. But I think you catch my meaning. Now get your ass to Bannock 4. I need to get those defensive batteries online, so make this fast. The comm spike traces and decrypts coded signals. As long as you have the transponder ID, you can track pretty much anything. That file you lifted from the Galbank archives contained the Legacy's transponder code, which I'll program into your nav system. All you have to do is get within the vicinity of Bannock 4, 
and the comm spike will automatically point you to the target. Cute toy, huh? Well, you already know that the conduction grid does a pretty nifty trick. It absorbs extreme voltage and converts it to usable power on Neon. The version for your ship can still absorb incoming electrical energy, like, say, the EM fields surrounding Bannock 4, but it can't store the power. Instead, it just scatters the EM harmlessly away from the hull, insulating you from frying every circuit aboard. As a nice side effect, I'm betting the module will make your ship somewhat EM weapon resistant and boost its shield region. <laughs> Lucky you. There are three defensive batteries, basically high-powered military space turrets, triangulated around the key. They were part of the UC's original defenses for the station. Pretty effective, too. Can put some serious hurt on enemy spacecraft. The good news is that the batteries have an incredibly wide field of coverage, so they can pick off ships trying to reach the key from any vector. The bad news is that they're 100-year-old tech. They keep breaking down and are expensive as hell to keep operational. Not a problem. Conduction grid data is all set up in the system, so it should be an easy install. I bet you would. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's take a look. About a million things to do, can't shops always open as long as your money's good. something because I'll finish it the fleet is family stealing from each other is just what you call a professional courtesy
wherever the Crimson Fleet go, we'll All fall. support ships have arrived, Commander. Good. After we're done here, arrange it briefly. I want all of their seals over here as soon as possible. Yes, sir. There you are. Where have you been? I'm kind of worried about this Siren of the Stars business. It's not normal for the fleet to hit this high profile of a target. Don't mistake what you're doing as some sort of heroic gesture. We're all risking our lives here. I've received the reports about your little foray into Genadine. Last piece of the puzzle before you go after Crix's legacy. Which means it's time to put all the cards on the table and prepare to attack the key. That's the only course of action. There's no scenario here where the fleet will be allowed to continue. Before you jump to Bannock 4, I need to make one thing abundantly clear. The credits from that Gal Bank transport cannot reach the fleet. You have to bring them here at all costs. If Delgado gains access to those resources, we might be touching off a battle we can't possibly win. We've been monitoring the Crimson Fleet's comm chatter and the Crick system. They're gathering allies by making promises based on your success. As much as I hate to admit it, UCC's death won't stand a chance. The fleet will become stronger and more unified than ever. I'm pretty sure you're joking, but just in case you're fishing for what I'd say, I can tell you this. That money doesn't belong to you, or the Crimson Fleet, or even UCC's death. It was for war reparations and belongs to the people. Allowing Delgado to get Crix's legacy or keeping it for yourself would have extremely serious repercussions. I've always known that when it came down to it, you'd do the right thing. All right, I guess this is it. Do whatever prep you need to do aboard the Vigilance and then head out to Bannock 4. When you return here with Crix's legacy, we'll begin the attack. Good luck. During the end of the Narion War, the money was destined to bolster the Freestar Collective's coffers. Even though we were rivals at the time, and I suppose we still are to some extent, the credits still rightfully belong to their people. After the money is turned over to Mast, I'm certain arrangements will be made to return the money to the proper authorities in Aquila City. The evidence you've been bringing to Lieutenant Toft has been instrumental in convincing the brass at Mast to greenlight the attack. They've sent us support ships, extra troops, weapons, all on account of your role in the operation. To put it simply, if it wasn't for you, this operation would be at a standstill. While you're running with the Crimson Fleet, you're undoubtedly going to be faced with some morally gray decisions. It's going to be difficult for you to weigh the consequences of pulling the trigger while maintaining your cover. Do what you have to do, but remember why you're out there in the first place. What? You meant the fleet? No, I mean you. Commander says you've been talking too much, stealing all the oxygen on the vigil. I'm not advocating violence. I'm merely urging you to weigh the consequences before you open fire. Look, I can see that you're struggling with this. So let me simplify this for you. If there's a route to your goal which doesn't involve killing innocent people, I'm urging you to follow that path. Use your instincts. I'm certain you'll do the right thing. Our directive is simple. We are tasked with the eradication of space piracy in the settled systems. As the chief source of pirate activity, the Crimson Fleet is our primary target. All my hopes go with you. Good luck. Yes? Lieutenant Toft is as organized as they come.
Warning, an emergency lockdown is in effect. All access requires an authorized transfer module.
Recording initiated. Well now, let's see. Another day's gone by. What's it been now? Six weeks. Who the hell knows? Food packs from my ship are gone, so it looks like the clock's running down for me, and Issa wins. What a clever woman. I never saw it coming. I mean, I can't blame her. I was stupid enough to hand her the opportunity. Now the fleet's resting on her shoulders. I only hope she doesn't run the whole operation right into the ground. Anyway... Let me just sit down in this chair. Yeah... There we go.
Don't stand there looking stupid. Everything's going to hell and Delgado <coughs> needs you in operations. Please don't tell me you actually believe that was everything Sysdef had. Wake the hell up! Ikande's throwing everything he's got at us, but we're planning on pushing his sorry ass all the way back to Jemison. That is unless you want to keep standing here talking while the Vigilance puts its crosshairs on us.
doesn't stand a chance against the fleet. You is that it? What Delgado has to say. That is Grix's legacy? Dios mio. I can't believe it's right here. Jazz, fire up the analyzer. Can you confirm? It's true. You were right all along, Del. You know, there were moments. Doubts. I almost stopped believing it was real. That I was chasing ghosts. But then came that day on Subaroff, and everything changed. And now, here it is. Grix's legacy. Our future. Of that, there can be no doubt. This day will go down in history, and so will you. But it's not over yet. Now, only one thing stands in our way. The vigilance. Speak of the devil. Just what is the situation? Looks like Kande is starting to move. Typical sea stiff. The sharks are so bloodthirsty, they won't even give us time to bask in the moment. The legacy is not going to keep us from getting killed. So yeah, this isn't the time to start handing out medals. Like I said, we'll celebrate and get drunk later. Right now, we have bigger problems. Those first few Sistef ships were only scouts, trying to confuse us and probe our defenses. Which means they're playing it smart. They're gonna try to take out our defensive batteries before bringing in their big guns. The batteries are the only thing we have with enough electromagnetic firepower to punch through the Vigilance's heart and shielding. We lose those batteries, we lose everything. Precisely, so we can't afford to screw this up. Jess, lay the plan out for us. We're gonna hold the fort here while you hop back into your bird and head for those defensive batteries. For optimal firing coverage, we're keeping them far from the key and each other. So you'll have to jump to each one individually. You see any sea staff ships get within pissing distance of the batteries? You take them out. In the meantime, we'll secure Crix's legacy here and have Shinya begin cracking the encryption right away. I don't care what you think. Now that the legacy is here, I'm not letting it slip through my fingers. Receiving a cut of those credits is the only thing that is convincing the fleet's captains that it's worth risking their own lives to defend the key. Hey, if it's any help, you can count on one hell of a party when you get back. Amen, Jazz. Once the batteries are online, we will start our attack of the Vigilance. We'll tear apart the shield, board the ship, and bring Ikande to his knees. No. We might not get another chance. The Vigilance will only be in range because they think we are defenseless. We need to strike quickly and then board the ship the moment their shields are down. If we wait too long, they'll have time to recharge. Then you have your orders. Oh, and one last thing before you go. In preparation for the attack, Ikande arrested some of our people. While you're aboard the Vigilance, you might want to spring them from the brig. All right, that's it. If you have any questions, now's the time. Otherwise, good luck.
alert. We're getting ready for an all-out war. Let's see what we have now. Business it is. Find anything of value, bring it here first.
Ada and prepare to be boarded. You heard him. Sister's here for a visit. All ships, show him how we do things around here!
feels just like old times. It's good to be back. Been drinking too much grog at the Nova. I'm talking about trading shuffleboard at Canasta Gate. Hey, now that wasn't by choice. Besides, I was still making a little bit of extra cash until you stumped. Anyway, I'll deal with these prisoners. Go on, go on. You work your magic, not it. Hull breach on deck three. Ceiling bulkheads nine, twelve, fourteen. cry from enforcing debts in Sidonia, am I right? Damn right it's good to see me. I'm about to hook your sorry ass up a second time. So, section ahead's a bit tricky. 
comm chatter says Sysdev's about to hit us with a squad of heavily armed troops. I've hacked all their bots and turrets to give us some backup. Or if you want to move fast, I can find you a way around instead. How you want to play this? No problem. You just focus on the door at the end of the hall. I'll keep everything else locked down. the mess around here for you. Felt oh, pretty good, too. It's been a while since I was dropped into the middle of a firefight. Yeah, well, spend as long on Neon as I have, and you learn that using a gun is the most effective way to get what you want. You better run along. I'm sure they'll send a few goons through here eventually. We'll handle them for you. All hands, abandon ship. I repeat, abandon ship. the vigilance to fall into the hands of the Crimson Fleet. Why are you even bothering to talk? We should drop this asshole right now. Lower your weapon, Jillian. Are you out of your mind? Why? It would be pointless. I have activated the vigilance's self-destruct. It won't be long before this ship and everyone who remains aboard are going to be incinerated.
I am not killing anyone. The destruction of this vessel and the deaths of everyone aboard falls on your shoulders. Whatever caused you to side with these lawless pirates, I hope it was worth it. Because I need you to look me in the eye and tell me what motivates a person to cast aside all of their morals. Like the circumstances you've created here, I think you owe me that much. Fun? Is gambling with people's lives some kind of game to you? I did not expect such a callous reason as your motivation. But I clearly misjudged you when I approved your addition to the team. In light of what's about to happen to us, I suppose it doesn't matter. Commander Akande didn't make me do anything. I chose to stay behind. You see? That is called loyalty. A concept that you are obviously unfamiliar with. And why would I do that? go so far. Despicable. No, I am not. You forced me into this position. You're starting to panic. I can tell. So no, I will not comply. This isn't just about the vigilance or getting revenge on the fleet. I believe the galaxy is safer without you in it. And I will do everything in my power to remove you from it. Take a look. Whatever it takes.
did it! We planted a flag on the goddamn vigilance! Good job. You got there, pirate? Ah, I figured we could use Son of a bitch, you did it! You actually pulled it off! Didn't I tell you, Dale? I told you there was something different about this rook! Oh my god, Nave, you're so full of shit. What? I just call it like I see it, Jazz. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I, I seem to remember your rant about that lousy rook and how you were gonna off that loser and take their ship. No? Shut up, Jazz. Both of you, cut the crap and let me talk. All right, look, I'm terrible at this crap, so I'm going to spare all of us the stupid speeches and make this short. When I took over around here, things were looking grim. We were hanging on by a thread. The only thing that kept the fleet intact was the promise that I'd find Crix's legacy and put us back on top. At the time, I was full of shit. I didn't know how the hell I was gonna make that happen. And as the years passed, my words started to wear. We lost a lot of good people because they thought Dale was chasing ghosts. She's right. That thread I was talking about, it frayed. Badly. But when you found that recording on Suvorov, the hunt reignited. You gave us the courage we needed to hold fast. Now that his legacy is where it belongs, we can become the pirates Crix always meant us to be. Thanks to you. <laughs> yeah, you wish. Unfortunately, Neva's right. This is a setback for the United Colonies. But now that the vigilance is gone and Ikande is out of the running, they're not going to just forget we exist. It's only a matter of time before they try and cook up some new scheme to come after us. Except this time, we'll be ready for them. Oh, I can't wait to get my greasy little hands on that thing of beauty. Get in line, Missy. You talking about my new ship there? No one is doing anything to the Vigilance until I give the okay. Yes! For now, we're going to leave it at station keeping near the key until we decide how badly to trick it out. If you've left anything over there, you're welcome to head back and have a look around. Oh, yeah? Well, since you think everyone around here helps so much, I'll just give them all a piece of your cut. <gasps> Dibs on the comp spike! You would go for that garbage. Me? I only want the cash. All right, let's get down to business. You want your money, and you're going to get it. A lot of it. Shinya tells me we have enough money from that hall to not only fix up the key, but purchase some serious firepower to pump up the fleet. Not to mention, pay off all the captains for sticking in there during our fight with Sistef. All that, and we'll still have plenty left over. The hell with that! Haven't you learned anything? Demand the largest cut. No, no, spread the wealth. I'll take a bigger share. That's fine by me. Okay, okay, let's get this done. Before you head out and get drunk at the Nova, I want you to remember one thing. The fleet always comes first. There are still jobs to run, things to steal, and places to wreck. So celebrate, get wasted, then get back out there and make us some money. With the creds flowing from the legacy, now we're back to the planning phase. 
No big jobs for a while. What's it now? 